Hello everyone, welcome to Hannah Sweetman Nutrition. Today's video is all about the different coaching processes I use with uh, current clients and uh, any potential clients that might come on board may be interested in looking at the different ways online coaching works here at Hannah Sweetman Nutrition. So to start off with, we have a initial consultation and that uh, really dictates as I can get some more information uh, from you and what your lifestyle looks like into how I will uh, start the process uh, in order to help you meet your nutrition and your goals. So this is the spreadsheet we use and we use this in a shared folder so basically you can update things, I can update things and we can basically see the same uh, spreadsheet. Um, it does depend on the client, once again this will be tailored to the client and whatever method they're using. Um, but there's different ways we kind of determine where your starting points are depending on your goal, different ways we measure progress and not all clients will use all of these measurement tools. Um, some of them will be changed in order to meet the client's requirements. Uh, we then, depending on the client and the way the client is tracking, so if the client is tracking through MyFitnessPal, which is a common way some clients track, I will always look at their food diaries, I'll become a friend of theirs on MyFitnessPal so that I can see their food diary, and then I'll analyze each day for their check-in, um, and then they will also update the spreadsheet um, not all these tabs will be in, it once again depends on the client and how many of them I need for that client to focus on. Uh, a lot of, um, unless the client is very specific or has a very specific goal, uh, most clients will only track, if they are tracking on MyFitnessPal, just their calories, their proteins, and also I'll look at potentially their fiber to make sure they're getting enough uh, fiber on a daily basis. The more important thing we track is that we establish weekly targets, um, and these are very individual to the client and what the client's goals are and we come up with them together in order to make sure that uh, they're challenging enough but they're still suitable for the client's uh, requirements and their lifestyle that they currently have. If you are a video client you'll be doing either weekly or fortnightly videos for me as your way of checking in and then I will send you a video back. So I do, um, if you're a video client, give you some questions to answer um, to ensure that I get the most out of that video um, and to ensure that I have all the information I require from that video to give you my video back with as much detailed feedback as possible. I also provide all my clients meal ideas um, to give them some understanding around um, how to make balanced meals. Um, I also provide them with what I would call a default diet, so when things get very stressful, how can they manage their, their food. Um, and also, depending on the client, uh, they will be given a, a training plan, either in the gym or home-based, uh, just depending on the client's needs. So there's some other ways I also manage or help clients get an understanding of how much they should be eating and how they should be eating in order to meet health requirements. And one of that ways is um, Design My Diet. It's basically a uh, spreadsheet that I've created that, you know, it basically kind of targets whether foods are proteins, fats and carbs, sources, and it's got a scroll down menu and they can select what food they want and start making basically meals that they enjoy, uh, but also these would be tailored to the client. So they'd have like a protein target, a calorie target, and a fruit and veg target. And this would then calculate whether they were meeting those requirements, but also gives them the ability to create their meals in maybe a more simplistic way for them uh, if they don't enjoy using MyFitnessPal. So that is another option uh, for clients if they don't want to track via MyFitnessPal. Another option is just a good old fashioned uh, written food diary. Um, this is the more um, like complex one. So some of them just are uh, just foods. But also I sometimes, depending on the client, will get them to talk a bit about their feelings around their meals, what they learned from that meal, uh, where the meal was eaten, how was it eaten, like was it in a stressful environment, was I eating in front of a computer or was I sat down with my family. Um, and I just get them to basically write out what they had. So an example would be 40 grams of cornflakes, 250 mils of milk, one teaspoon of sugar, one tea with one teaspoon of sugar and um, 200 
sorry, 20 mils of, of milk. That would be an example. And they would do this for a week. And then in their check-in, we would talk through things, maybe talk through changes, make sure that they're hitting all the kind of targets I have provided for them for that week, um, usually around like fruits, vegetables, um, and also protein as they're kind of the, the staples I like to really focus on with all clients. So that is another method I use. I also use what we call like an audit checklist or a habit tracker. Um, and obviously it doesn't, won't always have all these um, targets. This is just what I like to call like an optimal. And I do try and get all clients to get to the point where all of these are inset behaviors because that's what's gonna keep them going long term and, and weight maintenance is so important after the diet but um yeah some of these will be um taken out but also some of them will be adjusted depending on the client if the client has a very stressful life we might add things such as um, an example i've used with clients in the past is doing one thing that provides you joy every day or another one is journaling how you felt every day um, and that just allows them to also work on their mental health as well as their nutrition um, and training that also is encompassed under Hannah Sweetman Nutrition. So there's some ways that I basically um, help clients or that client gets to decide how they want to track their nutrition um, in order for me to see how how they kind of um, eat on a regular weekly basis and then at our check-ins we go through things and we come up with a plan and those weekly targets uh, moving forward together. I also provide things such as um, you know documents to help them get an understanding about nutrition but also documents like this because I know that a lot of people eat uh, family meals and they don't want to have to be weighing everything and when they make like a family meal how do they portion that correctly for them themselves with their family so I've also got things that allow them to kind of make family meals and you know you've got uncooked versions and cooked versions of things so they can use cup measurements for example um, as opposed to needing to know the exact raw weight and then not knowing what it is when the meal has been cooked for four or five people so I do give them like templates on um, the ability to use you know cups to measure things so that once they've made a family meal they can just take a cup of cooked rice, put it on their plate, take a cup of whatever meat dish they might have made, put it on their rice or a bean dish. Um, it just allows them some, you know, less stressful ways of still being very um, in control of their portions, which is an important part of the nutrition process. So that basically is the different ways I use um, or different methods I use with clients to help them uh, control their nutrition, their portion sizes, um, and for me to get a good understanding of what they eat on a, a regular basis and therefore for me to give them feedback. Uh, my coaching is either done on video calls. So um, if you are a, a video coaching client, you will send me a video either on a weekly or fortnightly basis, depending on which option you choose. You will send me a video, um, you'll update your spreadsheet in the shared folder. And um, then once I've watched that video, uh, I've created enough feedback and I will send you a video back with any targets for the upcoming week or fortnight, depending on which client you are. If you are an in-person client, then you will have weekly calls or bi-weekly fortnightly calls with myself on Zoom. So we will be live together in person and we will be talking through on with everything on screen um, on that Zoom call. We will talk through how your week was and what we need to do moving forward and we will create those targets uh, for that week ahead. So they're the two coaching options um, that are, are possible or available. Um, and if you have any questions around coaching or you want to know more, um, I do offer a free friendly consultation call um, chat just to basically talk through how I coach and whether actually coaching is right for you. It won't be right for everyone. Um, so that's why we have that initial call just to make sure that, um, you know, I can provide what you might require or if the, the service is actually going to be suitable for you. Um, so that's no obligation. And if you would like to book in a call, you just need to contact me on hannahsweetman at gmail.com. You can also find out more information about my different services and more information about uh, my philosophy on nutrition at my website. And that's www.hannahsweetmannutrition.com. Thanks very much for listening. And I hope to hear from you soon.